The U.S. Supreme Court sent our country hurtling into a healthcare crisis. Lisa Margulies, the Vice President of Public Affairs for Planned Parenthood of Northern New England, is talking about the U.S. Supreme Court's Dobbs decision, which stripped the federal reproductive protections that Roe v. Wade put in place for over 50 years, and instead put the status of reproductive rights back in the hands of individual states. And luckily here in Maine, we've seen legislators act in line um, with what the people want, which is to keep reproductive health care safe and legal and accessible. In the 131st Maine legislature, lawmakers passed multiple bills to protect and expand reproductive rights in Maine, including LD 1619, which removed language regarding viability in Maine's abortion law, and LD 227, which is known as a shield law, to protect anyone receiving an abortion or reproductive care in Maine from being prosecuted by out-of-state actors. But, Margulies says, lawmakers fell short of sending the issue of abortion to November's ballot. So this past legislative session, Lawmakers in Augusta denied the people of Maine the opportunity to vote on whether to enshrine the right to reproductive autonomy in our state constitution. But of course, voters will not be denied their right to cast ballots for who they want to represent them in the next legislative session. With not only all 186 state legislature seats up for grabs, but also Maine's two congressional district, one of Maine's U.S. Senate seats, and the U.S. presidential election this November, Margulies says this election is more important than ever. We know that extremists won't stop in their attacks, not just on abortion, but reproductive health care writ large. That's birth control, that's IVF, that's all the care that pregnant people need over the course of their pregnancy. We also know, again, that over 80% of Americans believe abortion care should be legal. We reached out to the Christian Civic League for comment and did not receive a response. In Augusta, I'm Corey Bouchard for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.